All right, check this out. You're looking at a live ranking grid for a Google business profile for one of my clients. This one's showing results for the keyword home cleaning near me. See all that red and orange? Yeah, not exactly winning the visibility game. Now watch what happens when I run the exact same report, same business, same location, for the same keyword just a minute later. Boom! Rankings shot up across the board. Pretty wild, right? So how did I pull that off in literally under a minute? And no, the tool isn't broken. I didn't add any new reviews, upload any photos, or post anything to the listing. But I did do one simple thing very differently. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it was. Hey, it's Luke from Ranking Academy, and today we're diving into one of the sneakiest reasons your Google business profile might be underperforming. And yep, it all comes down to one surprisingly simple thing, your opening hours. Remember those two great tracking scans I just showed you? They were run literally one minute apart. The only difference, the first scan happened before the business officially opened. The second one, right after it switched to open. That tiny change made a huge difference in visibility. Unfortunately, Google actually uses your business hours as a ranking factor when deciding which listings show up on Google Maps. And this isn't just about rankings, it's about leads you're missing out on because if you're not visible, you're not getting clicked. Let's unpack that a bit. Here is what's happening. When your business is marked as closed, Google starts giving priority to businesses that are currently open, especially those open later or 24 seven. And here is where it really stings. A lot of people searching on Google Maps will use the filters for open now or open 24 hours. If you're not open at that exact time, you're gone, off the list, invisible. Let's say you're a locksmith, a bakery, or a massage therapist. You close at 5 p.m., but your competitor is open until 9. Guess who's getting the after-work customers? Not you. It's easy to forget that people actively filter for open businesses, and when they do, you vanish from the map. And I've seen this play out over and over again in ranking grids, in real-time searches, and in client analytics. But the rabbit hole goes even deeper. If you're already using a grid tracking tool to monitor your own Google business profile rankings or those of a client and try to test this open versus closed theory, you might notice nothing changes. Same business, same keyword, open or closed, the rankings look identical. So you might think, ah, maybe opening hours don't matter after all. Not true. Here is what's really going on. Not all tools are created equal. Some show real-time data while others used cached results, basically all snapshot. Let me give you an example. I ran this exact same test using another well-known grid tracking tool. Same listing, same keyword, one scan when the business was closed, one scan when it was open. And the results, identical. Why? Because that tool relies on cache data. It's showing what the map looked like yesterday or even earlier, not what's happening right now. So if your business closes at 6 p.m. but you're checking rankings at 8 p.m. using that tool, it might still show you as ranking even though a real searcher wouldn't see your listing at all. This is a huge deal, especially if you're doing local SEO for clients. You could be unknowingly giving them bad info and making decisions based on data that's out of date. Bottom line, real-time tools equals real insights. And when it comes to visibility, especially outside your opening hours, accuracy matters. If you're wondering which tool I use to track those real-time results, it's called Local Falcon. It's super reliable and the best part, you can actually try it out for free. I've dropped a link for you in the description below. Go check it out. Hey, quick heads up, I've seen that a bunch of you watching my videos aren't subscribed yet. That means you're probably missing out on some really useful tips I drop all the time to help you grow your business. So if you're enjoying this and want more, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button and stay in the loop. So now we know two things. Your opening hours influence your rankings and the tool you use to check those rankings really matter. Let's talk about how you can stay visible longer and still work within Google's guidelines. Here are a few ideas that can make a real difference. Start by spying on your competitors. Seriously, take a look at their business hours on Google. Are they open later than you or maybe earlier? If they're not, you're in good shape. But if they are, you might want to match their hours or better yet, open during times when they're closed. That's free visibility with almost zero competition. Then check your own demand. Are you getting emails, DMs, missed calls or website visits outside your listed hours. Dig into your inbox, Google Analytics, even your voicemail. If people are trying to reach you after hours, maybe it's worth being available during those times. Let me give you a real world example. I helped a restaurant in a small town and they did something bold. They closed on weekends. Crazy, right? 
That's when most people go out to eat, but they flipped the script and opened on Mondays and Tuesdays when almost every other restaurant in town was closed. Guess what? They owned the map rankings on those days and their place is packed. Plus, they get the weekends off to spend with their family. Smart move. Another option, consider after hours call handling. If someone can answer your phone, a real person or even a call service, then you're technically open. This lets you extend your visibility without actually extending your working hours. Now let's talk 24 seven listings. If you're a service area business like a roofer or a plumber and don't show a physical address on your profile, Google's usually fine with you being listed as open 24 seven, as long as your phone is answered during those times. But if you've got a visible business address, Google expects that customers can physically show up at any time at that address if you say you're open 24 seven. So be careful, listing hours that aren't real could lead to someone turning up, finding the door shut and leaving a bad review. I'm not saying you should fake it, that's against the rules, but I've seen plenty of businesses do it and get away with it. Just understand the risk if you go down that route. A couple of extra things to keep in mind. Only your main business hours affect how you rank, not things like online service hours or appointment only hours. If you have the option to add those extras, Go for it, but don't expect a ranking boost for them. And definitely don't leave your hours blank. Google doesn't like that and it can hurt your visibility. One last thing you really need to keep in mind. Google cares a lot about consistency, especially when it comes to your business hours. Simply updating your Google business profile to show longer hours isn't enough. Google doesn't just take your word for it, it cross-checks your hours against other places on the web. Your website, your Facebook page, your Better Business Bureau listing, and anywhere your business is mentioned. So if your profile says you're open 24 seven, but your website says nine to five, Google's going to spot that mismatch. And most likely it will override your hours automatically, putting you right back to where you started. To avoid that, make sure your opening hours are consistent everywhere on your site, your socials, directories, before you update them on your Google business profile. That way, when Google double checks, everything lines up, and your changes are more likely to stick. Opening hours is just one of those little known tactics I look at when auditing Google business profiles, and it can make a huge difference in how often your business gets seen, especially outside the usual nine to five. If you'd like me to take a look at your profile, you can reach out for an audit using the link in the description below. And if you've ever experimented with your business hours and seen your rankings jump or tank, I want to hear about it. Seriously, drop a comment below. I read everyone and your story might even help someone else in the same boat. But don't stop here. If you want to outrank your competitors fast, you need to check out this video next. It's full of clever tactics that actually move the needle and most business owners have no clue they exist. I'll see you there.